Hey folks, I hope everyone is well and uh, you've had a good week. So, uh, has anyone seen The Guardians of the Galaxy? It's a film that's just come out. Actually, no, it's not just come out. Um, they've just released um, the second part of it. It's going to be one of those types of films where it's a bit like Marmite again. Uh, you either love it or you hate it. For me, I love it. I'm going to do a project today around Guardians of the Galaxy, but not so much just Guardians of the Galaxy. I'm going to do it around Baby Groot. Now, if you haven't seen Guardians of the Galaxy, then um, I would suggest you go and see it. It is a good film. Um, this isn't a promotional video for Guardians of the Galaxy, by the way. <laughs> I just love the film. And I kind of like my movies. So, um, and I watched the first one. I thought that was fairly good. And then the second one come out. So I took my little boy Charlie up to see it. Um, and we loved it. You know, it was a great day out. And um, this time, well, the first one, they had a big Groot in it. Okay, so they had a big Groot, who's played by Vin Diesel, by the way. I'm not too sure how that really works. But um, anyway, I probably he's the voice of, of Groot. Even though he only says one thing. I'm Groot. I am Groot. <laughs> so in Guardians of the Galaxy 2, they've made Groot tiny. So he's a baby Groot. And he's kind of cute, you know. So um, I thought, let's make a baby Groot. That's my new ass. I'm Groot. Um, and we could try to, um, once we've made him... We can then sort of like see if we can put him in an environment around wood because, you know, he's kind of made of wood. I thought it was kind of relevant, if you see what I mean. Um, so, now I've got myself a new 3D printer recently. Well, actually I haven't yet. I'm borrowing my brother's, but I'm going to be buying one. Um, and I thought we'd try it out and make ourselves a baby group. Why not? Let's go. Right, so this is the 3D printer. It's going to print our baby Groot. Uh, what we need to do is just need to select it down here. Uh, this is going to take about six and a half hours to do. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to time lapse it for you so you can see baby Groot form. So uh, this should be fun. There it is, there's our baby Groot. And he's all printed. That looks so cool. <laughs> Brilliant. So uh, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna uh, scrape this off of here, because you've gotta scrape him up. Um, and then what we're gonna need to do is to attach his head, uh, and then we're gonna need to paint him up. There's our little baby Groot. I'll tell you what, that 3D printer is pretty awesome. 
And obviously, if you don't know anything about 3D printing, and to be fair, I didn't know anything about 3D printing until a few months ago. Um, but literally, you can print anything. That might sound weird, and you think, print? Print? How can you print anything? That's just weird. But just like I've printed Baby Groot, you can print anything that you want to print. That is just pretty awesome. So, uh, there he is. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to find a little um, piece of wood to put him in. Um, just so he's got somewhere to sit. Somewhere that's kind of like his environment that he'd want to sit in. And uh, I think we're done with our Guardians of the Galaxy baby Groot. What do you reckon, Groot? Are you happy with that? I'm good. I'm going mad. So, I think this is the perfect piece of wood. I've just dug this out of my old shed. I think this will suit Groot down to the ground, really. Uh, it looks like it's it's kind of an old burl, I think. Is that what they call them? Burl? Burl? Burl. Burl. Burl or burl? Burl. Can't really say it, to be fair. But anyway, it looks kind of oldy and funky, so I just need to try and figure out... Um, how we kind of create this into some sort of like ornamental piece where Groot can live in. Let's see what we can do with this to make this look a little bit nicer.
There's our baby Groot in his little den or house. As he's wood, I thought that was kind of appropriate to kind of get him into a um, area where he can just uh, chill out. So um, I put a piece of wood into here, as you've seen, and that allows him to sort of sit in there quite nicely. Um, that wasn't too bad, I got that in there fairly well. A um, little bit of messing around off camera to try to get that to fit quite nicely. Glued that in with some CA glue. And what I've done on the bottom here as well is I put in some little feet, some little rubber feet that I picked up the other day on the internet. Um, I bought these because I'm due to make a chopping board of some kind, some when. I haven't got round to it yet. So, but I thought I'd pinch these for the time being and use those and that sort of makes it sit up a bit more like an ornament. Um, and then we've got my emblem in the back there, um, as always, my little maker's mark. So uh, there we go. So I uh, hope you like um, Guardians of the Galaxy and Baby Groot. If you don't uh, like Guardians of the Galaxy, well then I hope you enjoyed watching the project of me making Baby Groot. Um, he is quite a cool character in the film and uh, I just thought that I had to make him um, because... Um, He's just really cool. And uh, kind of cute as well, like I said. So um, there we go. So uh, I hope you like him. Uh, we may well make some more 3D printing stuff in the future. Um, as I say, thanks to my brother for lending me the uh, 3D printer to make Little Groot. Uh, he's now convinced me to buy my own one. So I definitely will be buying a... Uh, 3D printer. So I'll put some stills up at the end. If you can share the video, that would be really helpful. That always helps the channel. Uh, like and obviously comment below and what your thoughts are. Um, and um, I'll see you uh, for the next one. Cheers, guys. Take care. That's a really bad sign. told you it was this big. <laughs> That's my underwear. Let's just agree to never discuss this.